Okay, we don't have an intro song. This is not the intro song, but it's an intro song. But I'm bum. Hey, thank you. Way back there in the back. See you. Thank you. I can't wait till I can start to learn how to edit and actually get some stuff. <laughs> Make this a little more, uh, a little higher production value. Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, Tuesday night's wrap up of this past weekend. Um, we're just going to go ahead and talk about a few things. Uh, what, what you can expect in this video. Um, let's see, we're going to have uh, a little welcome to the group. Uh, just introduce myself and uh, our group to everyone who's just now joined us on our Facebook or our Discord and who might want to come out for Meetup to play some games and meet some people and make some human connections. That's be the first thing we do. And then we're going to talk about the games that we played um, this last weekend, which would have just been Friday and Monday. I don't have all of them. I don't have all the attendance sheets data. I'm going to, I'm going to get that all, um, worked out so that I always have the data on uh, Tuesday morning. So, um, when I sit down and do this, I can give everybody, let everyone know what we've been up to and what the stats are. Some people love data. So, um, okay. Hi Khaleesi. All right. So we, now we have Khaleesi and Hugo. I don't think you can see them. Um, but I'm sure you'll probably end up hearing them at some point. <laughs> they knock something over. Um, and then I'll just real, really briefly, I'll talk about uh, the, the schedule for this upcoming week because we got some, some things going on and just want to make sure everybody knows where they are, when they are. And then I'm going to talk a little bit. Of, I'm going to do a little state of the group. Just kind of talk about, okay, hi, hi, random. Now random's here too. Okay. So we'll do a little state of the group, talk about some things that we got going on, some some plans, maybe some down the road stuff, some hopes, dreams, that kind of stuff. Uh, then we're going to do a definition. So I like to, to do the definitions on um, on Tuesday. So we'll do some definitions. T -t Tonight we're going to talk about a couple of terms, post-luck and pre-luck, what they, what else they're known as, what I like to call them, and what, where you'll see them in games. Um, and then we'll do a little state of the, uh, the channel, too. We're going to talk about where the channel is right now and how we're doing and, and you know, where we want to go and what we want to end up doing. So first off, um, let's just say hi to the new folks. Um, hope you get to come out to a meetup sometime. Um, in the, the comments down below, either either when it, here at the, on the YouTube video um, or on the Facebook page where I will uh, post this as well on Tuesday night to, to welcome all the new people. Just kind of tell us a little bit about your gaming self. Like, what games do you like? Are you a neophyte and you're just trying to learn a little bit about modern design or board game hobby? Or uh, are you a vet? Have you been doing it since doing it? You know, you've been you've been you've been playing board games since you were writing your move down on a postcard and sending it to your buddy in 1856 or whatever. I don't know. Is that that was a thing? I don't know if it's 18. Okay, let's leave Dumas alone. All the cats are here. It's a, a veritable cat menagerie down here. We, all of them. Hi, guys. Come on. Be nice. Um, it, there are a few terms that we use in our group that, that um, we'll use from time to time that I think are good to know. So a spotlight, that is where uh, someone will come. It'll be a scheduled game. Typically happens on Friday nights at Art Garden and uh, someone will host that game, so they'll set it up and they'll teach everybody. Even if you've already known how to play, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to sit through the teach because it's there, it's the whole point is, is to teach. And then we'll also have on decks and those will happen either concurrently or right after Spotlights, also hosted, also typically taught if need be. Um, and then there would be uh, Reruns, and those are games that people will like schedule in advance. Be like, hey, I want to get a rerun of Ticket to Ride. 
it's a game. It's they're typically games that have been played so much in the group um, that people won't need to teach. At, at best, maybe they'll need a little light refresher. And that game would also be scheduled and hosted, and um, whoever's hosting it would set up and maybe do a refresher if they need to. And then we'd have uh, the last one you'll hear is um, pickup games. So it'll be like, we'll just sit around and organically try to figure out who's getting what. Also, when you come to one of our meetups, you will typically see someone there, especially at the beginning of the night, um, who we say is um, meeting and seating people. And it's typically me, especially on Fridays, at least for the first hour or hour and a half, I will not play any games. I will, or whoever is meeting and greeting, will um, introduce themselves to anyone who's new, get you a name tag, introduce you to some of the other people, walk you around to the tables that where people are playing. If the games haven't started, try to get you in a game. And if the games have started, maybe, you know, try to get a game going with you like a 1v1 or, or seeing if there are some other stragglers or people are coming in late. Um, so that's what you can expect. We don't, you don't just fend for yourself, walk in and be like, uh, hi, can I play a game or look for a cone on a table? We don't do that. Um, we are a player first group. And we, we care more about people coming and having a good time and feeling comfortable and making some connections with, with other you know, human beings through the games. The games are a vehicle for us to get together and, and just have a, had a nice night at a third space where we're not at work and we're not at home. We're just out doing something we enjoy with people we get to meet. And, um, or, and once you know people and people you get to hang out with. I love finding out how everyone's doing, what's going on in their lives, what, what, how was their week, you know, that kind of thing. Catching up, it's great. Um, as far as that goes, that's, that's pretty much it. You're, you're welcome to bring your own games, always, and try to see if you can get a pickup game. And if you ever want to try to schedule a, uh, a spotlight, just let me know. Earlier in the week, the better. Um, and then we'll schedule it out. I would say just come to a couple meetups first, play some games with us, let, you know, or you know, get to know us, and then I, I sh would have probably very little problem with you uh, spotlighting or wanting to host a, a rerun or um, getting on deck game or something. And, and at any time, you can always just show up and um, try to get a pickup game. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You guys already ate. I don't know what this is all about. Okay. So that's for the new people. And all and welcome. Welcome to the group. It's great here. I, I hope you enjoy yourselves and get to learn lots of, of games and find out exactly what you like about games if you're newer and and maybe get to play some of the some of the old games that you've loved if you're a vet. Um, let's see, next. Uh, let's talk about the, the wrap-up from this weekend. I don't have all of the data on me that I, I'm going to get away to, to make sure that I always do, but we had two meetups this past Friday and past Monday, last night. I wasn't able to go to the one last night, so um, I'm just going by what I saw. It looked like there was 12 to 14 people at Time and Change last night, which is fantastic. I saw Harmonies. I saw Castles of Burgundy. I'm not sure what else was played that night. So if you were at Monday night, you know, please, please, um, in the comments, kind of just update everybody on what you guys played and, and update my attendance if I'm not getting it right. It looked like 12 to 14, but I could be way off. Um, on Friday, I don't have all of these either. This is just from what I remember. We played Dwellings of Eldervale, Apiary, Harmonies, Ticket to Ride, Parks, Daybreak, Lords of Waterdeep, Mountain Goats, Sea Salt and Paper, and Illimat. And I'm sure there were other ones too. So if, if you uh, remember any that I, I have forgotten, please just put those down. And I think we had 25 Friday night, which is, which is getting pretty close to our max. I think once we have um, availability, to, if we have all the rooms available to us at the Art Garden, I think the most we'll ever be able to get in there without it being incredibly uncomfortable is probably 30. At that point, it would probably get really loud. Um, and on hot days, it would probably get really hot. So I, I think we're getting we're getting pretty close to our max, which that's something we'll talk about maybe in our uh, in a little bit when I talk about the state of the group. Um, good problem. 
good problems that we're having right now. Um, but still problems that need solved. Uh, let's see. So speaking of uh, the group, this week we have uh, the, for the upcoming meetups, we are at Art Garden as always, 6 o'clock. Should start the um, uh, spotlights. Should get started at 6. Right now we have two spotlights. Um for Friday, so if anybody wants to spotlight a game, let me know. We don't have any special events, so we could take up to two more spotlights pretty easily that start at 6. Um, we have uh, Sagrada, I believe, by Lauren, and Kelsey wants to teach... I can't remember what she's spotlighting. I do remember that she wants to have Harmonies on deck as a rerun for only people who've played before because she wants to play on the other side of the board, on the flip side, on the river side, so to speak. Which I appreciate that they literally put the river side on the other side. I see what you did there, people. And I appreciate it. Um, gosh, what was... Kelsey, write down... <laughs> if, if you get to it before I do, write down what your spotlight is. And we'll, we'll, I'll also, on Thursday night, so I'm changing the Friday night um, video for the, the breakdown, the weekend breakdown. I'm changing it to Thursday night because when I post it on Friday, but no one has time to see it by the time we get our weekend started. So I'll post it Thursday night. I'd like to eventually stream it. Um, and I'll explain why I, how I'm, I think I'm going to be able to do that maybe even this Thursday and just here in a minute. And then Saturday we have our inaugural third Saturday. This will be our second meetup at Bubbly this month. And I'm, we're hoping to continue to do that, to have two meetups. Uh, hopefully as close to the first and third um, as we can, as much as uh, Bubbly's schedule will allow that. And... You know, going forward, that's the plan. So first and third Saturday, every Saturday, uh, um, every first and third Saturday of every month, we'll meet at Bubbly from 11 to, I mean, maybe close. We just, it just depends how long people want to stay and play. I know you card players, you guys like to play, so we'll close it down if we have to. I think it's like 10 o'clock, 9 or 10 o'clock. They didn't kick us out at 10 o'clock either, so thanks, Bubbly, for letting us finish that game of Dune. It was an epic game of Dune. Imperium. Uprising. With X. Don't want anyone to get confused that we weren't playing this game from 1979. Although I hear it's good, but that's not one we were playing. Um, and then on Monday, we will be at Time of Change, as always, at 6 p.m. Happy hour ends at 6, so if you want to get there a little early and eat, that'd be great. Um, just as a, as another thing that they, they do have a lot of greasy food there. Just please, when you're playing the games, just either eat, get there a little early and eat before you start playing, or just make sure to keep your fingers nice and clean, you know, wipe them off, have some, um, hand cleaner and, and whatever, just, just to keep the yuckies from people's components and board and stuff. Um, okay. So that's it for our upcoming, uh, meetups in the next seven days. So let's talk about the state of the group real quick. Um, attendance has been amazing and we're, we're, we're hopefully going to looking at, 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 to add another day of the week. I think Tuesday would be a good day to add. And I'm going to see if, if one of two places I have in mind. So one would be seen if bubbly can, can take us. And if they can, that would be great. It would be like a, a Tuesday, you know, like a five to eight or six to nine or slot like something in there where you get together for maybe just like a Monday night at um, Bubbly. Um, I mean, uh, at a time and change. So you get, we get together for a few hours and we're either, either looking at Bubbly or possibly at Guard Tower East. Uh, they said that they would really like to start doing some board game stuff when we talked to them a little bit. And um, I need to reach out to the owner or whomever. Um, and see if, if Tuesday nights wouldn't be a bad, bad idea for us to do some board gaming there and doing some, like a spotlight every, two, like a special Tuesday spotlight at Guard Tower East. Or both. I mean, I don't know if we have, when we start getting enough people, we'll, it, I don't mind if we have multiple um, meetups in different areas. So maybe one in Westerville, maybe one more in Gahanna or New Albany and 
Gehenna or Reynoldsburg or whatever, um, if we get to that point. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, swag and merch, we've got a kind of a, um, an in somewhere, maybe possibly for, for maybe starting to get some very basic t-shirts going. Uh, so probably think like an all single color of, of either our logo, the Gana Gaming Group, or the, the, the meeples on the, the Triple G die. Um, maybe something like that soon, hopefully. Uh, I've also considered doing um, like a monthly newsletter. Uh, let me know if anybody would, would want to see something. like So maybe I would put like all of the definitions that we went over that month in the newsletter and put all our stats in the newsletter and and all of that kind of stuff. I, I think it'd be, it'd be fun. Maybe like talk about like upcoming games. Have, maybe have a featured game that, you know, something that's on crowdfunding that, that we, we think is interesting. Hi, pretty girl. I know. I don't know what you want but I'll figure it out here in a little bit, okay? Um, one thing that I did do is I I finally found what I think is going to be a decent camera solution. So I'm hoping to look at I think it'll, it's nothing great, but I think it can. it's something we can use even when I get some better equipment. Um, and I'm going to try to use it maybe to start streaming a feature table Maybe in as, as soon as a couple of weeks. And that would be something like maybe at 7 o'clock. Um, I would get a popular board game or a hot board game, and I will teach it at 7 o'clock to who's ever there, but we will also stream it live. So anyone who wants to learn it at home can ask questions while the teach is going on. And hopefully we'll be able to see it. As the questions come in, I don't know how to do all that yet, um, but if I can get it tested and figured out, I'd like to do that as soon as we can. And then I will meet and greet for the first hour, or meet and seat, greet and seat for the first hour, and then I will uh, sit down and do the the feature table and teach the game to not only who's ever there, but whomever is watching on YouTube at home. So if you have the game and have been wanting to learn, you could literally set it up and leave it sitting there. And at seven o'clock, sit down and I will, I'll help you learn how to play right there. You can just watch. It'd be like a watch it played video, but it would be an interactive one because you can ask me questions while we're going. Um, and anyone else questions that, that maybe is watching and knows the answer. So just be a really nice way to kind of scale up our ability to teach people, which is paramount for this group. Did you just get snot on me? That's gross. Um, and then eventually, talking about all this, I, I, I think my, my, big, my big goal is that maybe one day we figure out a way to f fund a, a permanent space for the group, which would have like a permanent library and, and um, wait, anytime people want to go play, there is, it would be able, you know, open, you'd be able to get in, play games, schedule games, we'd, ske we'd still have things like feature tables and scheduled spotlights and um, reruns and do some things like, we could also do some really cool events, for TCGs or stuff like that where we'd have more room and we would have a permanent library that people could, could come and, and rent games from. And my, my goal is to make sure that it's always free, right? So it's going to take some creative ways to figure out how to do that, but this channel will go a long way to maybe s seeing that happen. So that's a hint for, um, you know, what, when I finally tell you the goal of this, why we made this channel at the 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, all right, so... Next, we're going to talk about the definitions. All right. So I put both of these terms, post-luck and pre-luck, under the umbrella of chance. Um, you'll also hear it called um, input luck or output luck. So input slash pre-luck and output slash post-luck. I call output and post-luck, which are the same term. I'm just going to call it post from now on. 
I call post luck just luck. Um, and I call pre luck or input luck, I will call it pre luck from here on out. I call it uh, randomness. Um, and the, they're not they're they're not the same thing, even though they are both chance. And sometimes, and sometimes randomness will feel pre luck could feel. Not so much lucky, sometimes it feels unfair, like the game is being unfair. And I'll explain that with an example here in a second. So, what is pre-luck slash post-luck? Um, pre-luck, which I call randomness, is the game gives you a way to generate some kind of random asset, be it a number, from a die roll or something, or a color or shape from a tile or a card, or um, an, a, a, a resource that was pulled out of a bag or something. Some sort of way that there's just some randomness that's been presented to you. And then players get to react. It's not really lucky or unlucky per se, because it's just random. No one's ever says, oh, you've got, you've got really bad randomness, or you've got really good randomness. Mm -hmm. But sometimes a game will randomly favor somebody, because like the next card that comes out is exactly what they needed, or... <laughs> um, when they when when whoever's playing roll you know, roll player one and they roll the six dice from which everybody grabs one and um, drafts one and they keep it and there are like five sixes and a one and sixes are like the whoever goes last really needed that six and they're only left with the one just something like that and it, it feels unfair but it's not really bad luck per se because it's just totally random um, and then. After the randomness happens, everybody has a tactical chance to, to figure out what they're going to do with said random assets. Um, and yeah, sometimes that, that tac the tactic would be to make you better, but sometimes you could quote unquote like hate draft and keep someone else from getting something good. It's still tactical. I mean, it's mean. It may feel unfair, but it's not unlucky because it's tactical and it's just random and there's nothing you can do about it. However, post luck, which I call luck or true luck, um, that part of chance is like, let's give an example of like a skill check. So you needed, you have to roll a 12 sided die and you have to get an eight or higher or you fail and you roll a seven, you failed. You were unlucky. There's nothing you can do. You have to live with the results. So after, when you when you have a check and you, f you do the random thing that, that generates some kind of random number, shape, color, ass, whatever kind of asset, um, you just have to live with the results. Now, there is a bonus term called mitigation that you can use to help change your luck. Maybe you get to roll an extra die in the check, or maybe you get to add a couple of points to the check, or um, maybe you get to re-roll the die if you don't like it, or the dice if you don't like it, the result. So there are ways to mitigate, and that just means you, you, you can kind of modify the result in some way um, to help you with the outcome. Um, typically, you don't see like mitigation needed for the randomness for the pre luck because it, it's not it's it's just it's just randomness. I mean, it gives you an opportunity to be tactical. It, it doesn't give you an opportunity to not be so unlucky. Um, and that's the difference. And I think it's important to know. And typically, you don't hear people say um, input luck or output luck. Uh, but you do hear randomness and you do hear luck talked about games. And people will use them, kind of conflate them and put them together. They're both chance, but they're, they're both also very different things. Like I said, no one goes, oh, you're really, you've really got some bad randomness. 
because it's not good or bad. It's just random. And then you figure out what to do with it. Um, but I think it, I think it is helpful if people use it that way when they're describing games, because if you sit down and you want, like you're in a strategy mindset and you want to sit down and have a nice, deep strategic game and you want what you do to determine the outcome of that game, not what the game does to you, um, then you definitely want to be mindful to stay away from luck. Randomness is fine. Randomness will add a bit of, of some, some tactics into that, but you could have a very strategic game that still has bouts of randomness in it. Um, think of like Castles of Burgundy. There, you can be strategic in that game, but there's all kinds of randomness in it. All kinds of pre-luck, input luck in Castles of Burgundy. Um, so I got to watch that I'm not blocking my microphone. Uh, those are the definitions. If anybody has any questions about the examples I used or any of the terms, sometimes I'll throw a uh, maybe a term you, you aren't aware of or that you don't know. Also, if you ever hear anyone say a term that you're not aware of, ask. Don't just pretend or try to figure it out through context clues. Ask. It'll go a long way to help and make sure that you you find and play the games that that you like most or that you are in the mood to play. Because um, I like all kinds of games, but there are some nights where I, I don't want to play anything deeply strategic. And there are some nights where I really, really do want to play something deeply strategic with very little uh, luck. Um... You know, and if, if you have if you have the the definitions and they're using them right, and you've got the right, the right terminology and the words, and and you are starting to build um, your understanding of the lexicon, it just makes things way easier to to find the the game that you are are wanting at that moment. All right, so we'll go ahead. We're just going to end with the state of the channel, this channel. So right now we've got a total of four four hundred and sixteen views. Thank you. Um, we've got a total of 27 hours of watch time, and we have 45 subs. I said our goal is 1,000 subs. When we get to that 1,000 subs, we're going to do something. I don't know if we're going to have like a special meetup or a giveaway or uh, I do a dance party on... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe all of them. Maybe all of them. So what? Maybe I'll dance anyway, whether we get to 1,000 subs or not. Stop me. Um, so way better than we were last week and tons better where we were week before, but we still need lots of help. We need lots of subs. So if you haven't yet, sub, subscribe. If you've got a, a Gmail account, then you've got a YouTube account and just get in there, log on to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, put the little bell so you get our notifications. Um, Whenever we do a new video, and we're gonna we're gonna keep doing more and more. We're only gonna do two a week right now, but we're eventually gonna do some more. Um, especially if I can get that that uh, feature table, if I can figure out how to do the streaming and all of that set up um, down at the art garden, would be fantastic. And we'll be at three videos a week. Hi, sweetheart, everybody. That's Hugo. Okay, buddy. Um, and comment on the videos. Watch the videos. Uh, I do have timestamps so you can jump back around and find something if you're looking for it. Also, you can always check out the descriptions. I'll, I'll put any time I mention a game or something in, um, in here. If we do a breakdown or something, I'll always put that a link to that. And I'll try to put as many links to anything that I've mentioned in the description. So just go down right below here and kind of like hit the description and it'll whoop, and you'll see everything. Um... I feel like that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for now. So I will try to do the the show Thursday night, hopefully with our new camera set up. It could be cool. It might not be cool. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Hopefully I can do it. And yes, I'm still trying to figure out editing and like thumbnails and stuff. That is on the list for the channel, I know. And I'm, I'm going to do some deluxification. I got a couple of games done and what I'm going to do is just kind of show how I deluxified them instead of going through the whole process. But every now and then I'll maybe I'll do a video with 
me doing some painting or um, some resin on some tiles or you know just showing everything that I do to to get games deluxified and the total hobby system so for right now I think that's it I'm gonna hope that this thing recorded that whole time out but it do bit me do bit or vicious I'm gonna hope this is recorded the whole time if it is I'm gonna get up and hit the uh, stop button and not sing and then uh, wait no this is an outro song with Hugo Hugo the little kitten he sings our outro song Hugo take it okay you didn't hear him but he said Brrr. 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 bye